Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. I am super duper excited today because I'm starting off by bringing Donald Duck into my kingdom. Woohoo! Guys, I am super nervous to do his voice because I know it's not going to be that good. What's the man doing? Get the can, get the little shilly around here. Quest complete. Welcome a sailor. Sometimes you walk up from a gap and the whole town's world has changed. <laughs> Alright, that is my attempt at Donald Duck. He is super hard to do. He's not easy like Mickey is for me. Congratulations, you've completed the Mickey and Friends collection. Here is 15 gems, which you guys know that I need, obviously, for this Pirates in a Pinch leaderboard event. More dialogue! Oh, I've been back a while now and I still haven't seen Dozzy. A while, Donald? Mm. You've only been back a few minutes. That long? No, I'm very worried. Something's gotta know where Dozzy is. <laughs> Frustrated duck, send Donald to ask friends about Daisy. Okay, so he will not be doing that right now. I do, however, need to do something else super duper cool and put Donald Duck into his pirate costume. So I haven't purchased that yet, so we are getting quite an awesome video today, I think putting together all this stuff. So Donald is in already, and now his pirate costume is about to be put on him. So it is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, but it is 120 gems. So make sure you guys have enough gems for this costume if you have Donald Duck, because it looks so cute on him. This was in the shadows for me before I had Donald, because you needed to actually have him in your kingdom to see it. So this is amazing. Wow, I love his pirate costume. Ah, can you imagine in just five days time, I am planning to have Goofy's pirate costume. So this is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna have Donald and Goofy this week. So next I'll have to work on collecting for Minnie because obviously I already have Mickey's pirate costume. Um, you guys need to make sure that you have that on Mickey Mouse during uh, the the um, limited time event. I was gonna say leaderboard, but it's not. Limited time events. Um, this is not one of those, you know, big massive limited time events. This is a leaderboard one. So it is a little bit different. Wow, look at this shot of Donald. I didn't even need to do this. He's like, hat, come back. I'm like, all right, let's see what spell I can use on him. Spelliomus, ha! He's like, no, get back. <laughs> uh, bring a little bit of Harry Potter into Disney's Magic Kingdoms today. Oh, that is so cute. I love Donald in this costume and I love having him in my kingdom. Wow, I did not think I was gonna be this happy about having him in. I mean, I love Donald, but not as much as I love Mickey and Minnie for sure. Um, so this this is a real, real pleasant surprise for me. I love how he waddles. I just have to say that, it's just the cutest. Okay, so anyways, moving on to Pirates in a Pinch. You need to make sure that you collect um, those crabs, those jeweled crabs, and you can collect six of them every hour and a half. It's usually, a, you know, full number there, but it's not two hours, and it's not four hours, it's an hour and a half. So make sure you set your timers, guys. Um, if you want to actually collect all six, though, unfortunately, you will have to use gems. Now, I am definitely doing that to get out of the block here, get out of the gate, make sure that I've got the lead on this one. Like, not that I'm trying to be first or anything, because I just need to be in the top 100 to get Goofy's pirate costume, but the big thing is, is that I want to make sure I start strong so that I'm up towards the top in case people are buying their way through. I want to just make sure that I can actually get it. Um, so that is what I'm going to have to do uh, right now anyways. I will have to sort of see what I choose to do um, a little bit later on, but I know for the first 24 hours I need to see um, how I can place when I'm sort of using my gems through this. I'm not missing out on Goofy's Pirate Costume. I'm just saying that. I'm not missing out. So unless I make some big mistake and like drop my iPad or something, I'm planning to get it. Um, so that that's the goal for me for the next five days. Um, I do want to bring in Aurora, but I now need to save up 
um, my magic again. Not that I need to for Aurora, but the big thing is I'm also trying to unlock the two million land slot. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually be able to do it just with all of this stuff that just keeps popping up here that I have to have to do. Um, but it is gonna be my goal uh, to do that for sure. So we'll see what I can do here, guys. Aurora is 50,000 though, so that again is gonna take another den, especially after what I had to do with uh, Donald um, in my last video. I had to actually go to Merlin's shop to actually trade in a bunch of my magic for elixirs just so I could get Donald into the kingdom. I did not want to do that, but with this leaderboard event, I pretty much felt I had no choice if I, you know, wanted to place up in the top there. So, yeah that happened and I know I'm jamming my way through this beginning part and I'm sorry for those of you that you know get frustrated when I do this sort of thing I don't do it often but it's just one of those things I don't want to miss out on and especially if I get busy or anything like that it's gonna be it'll be next to impossible to catch up so I'd rather just start strong and then sort of just fade into the mix but for now things are looking good very very good I'm very very happy with this um, we have so many of them and guys make sure when you are collecting from your your jeweled crabs make sure please that you set aside at least like 10 or 15 minutes to do this because I only set aside when I started doing this like just right now I'm realizing you know what I really only set aside about like five ten minutes but I know it's gonna be longer than that so I'm assuming every single time I sit down to deal with these uh, these jeweled crabs it is going to take me a little bit longer than I thought so just make sure you actually sit down and actually play this game properly or you may not get Goofy's fire costume so who is excited that they have finally released this? Are you happy that they released uh, Goofy's pirate costume this way? Or did you want it in the costume shop for gems? Or um, with fabric tokens and stuff like that that you could collect like you can do with uh, mini? So basically, do you want or did you want Goofy's pirate costume this way? That's option one. Option two is like mini, which you have to collect uh, fabric tokens and stuff like that and use some magic to bring, um, bring it in. Or would you prefer it to be like Donald's, where it's just 120 gems, that's it, no sweat, that's all you have to do. Uh, let me know in the comments below, because that would be very, very interesting. Um, my personal um, opinion on this um, is I would prefer it to be like Donald or Minnie. I am not a fan of putting this in the leaderboard and only letting people that, you know, are going to do what I'm doing or... Um, people with smaller kingdoms, it doesn't give them a chance to get it at their own speed. And I really feel that, like, I've been there, I've been a small, like, really, really small kingdom before, like, just starting out, and it's really, really discouraging when you cannot get something like this, when it is such a staple, and it already goes with Mickey's pirate costume that is released pretty much right away in your game. So it's just like... I don't know, I really don't like sort of what they've done um, with this. I understand, I think, why they're just trying to give us something until um, they can actually post the next limited time event, which I'm super excited about. Um, I did a little video, which was sort of uh, a little bit of a sneak preview of what is to come. Um, I think it's going to be the Little Mermaid. I don't know what else it could be besides the Pirates of the Caribbean. They're just doing a bit of a, a tease for us, you know? It's just like, ha, we brought in the Pirates, and they were letting us know that Pirates in a Pinch was coming. Um, that was their nice way of doing it. However, they made such a big deal about it on Instagram. They used, what was it, nine posts. Okay, like it looks super cool, but nine posts and they didn't say anything underneath. I'm like, really? That That's representing Goofy's pirate costume? I'm sorry, they've never done anything that deserves nine posts like that in one day. So, I don't think it was all that. Um, the other thing was is, if you look around, there's like vases and jewels and coins and stuff like that. It's very Little Mermaid. It reminds me of like Ariel's little special place where she, you know, collects everything and um, collects everything that belongs to humans. The only thing was is it was missing the fork if it was going to be a definite giveaway. I saw a spoon, but not a fork. Dale is now level 3. Chip's going to be really happy about this. 
His voice is a lot easier to do than Donald's. I will just throw that out there. I'm sure I'm in for some trouble with uh, Donald's voice in the future because it is very, very difficult um, to sort of switch from like Mickey to Donald. I had a bit of a trouble at the beginning there, but it was still pretty cool. Chip is now level four. Just think of how many nuts I can find now. I bet it's a lot. Aww. I, I didn't think I'd be this excited either about the chipmunks. They were another pleasant surprise. Uh, just having them here. They're just so happy and cute and you know that in the future dialogue they are going to be causing um, Donald so much trouble. I just know it. They're just gonna do something ridiculous. I think we need to build, I think it's Donald Boathouse I think it's called or something like that. I think that's one of the things like now that I've brought in Donald that will have to be done. Um, so I'll need to find a spot for that. My kingdom is a mess, but I've just uh, emptied out pretty much as many decorations as I can and thrown in um, actually all now of my concession stands in the kingdom. So it's all out, guys, um, except for um, a few attractions, obviously, but all my concessions are out. So I'm just trying to get some magic before I do maybe like a speed build or something like that. I've heard some interest from you guys in the comments about that. So I'd love to do that for you guys. If there's something else you guys want me to do like a live stream or anything like that, again, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so back to this Pirates in a Pinch here. Make sure that you collect uh, two of the nets. And I still don't know the name of that, uh, the other item there. I think it's like a gem or a rock. Got a rock. Okay, so basically two nets, two rocks, and you can go ahead and battle the crabs. Oh, we got Sarge. Whatever is inside this package is cold, gooey, and red. This is more serious than I thought. Quest complete, investigate the goods. We've gotta find out what's in the box. If it's alive, we're in trouble. Alive? What on earth could be in the box? What is he on about? Ooh, Bo Peep is in the corner. We're gonna have more dialogue. Woody, Aww. Bo, if you're not doing anything, I thought maybe we could go for a walk. There are lots of flowers blooming and I know how you like flowers. That's so sweet, Woody, but I was kind of in the mood for pinball. Pinball, really? Well, hey, how to hey, talk about your perfect day. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Mind you, I feel like Jesse should be saying that, hey, howdy, hey there. Arcade romance, send Woody and Bo Peep on a date at Pizza Planet. Ooh, oh, right. yeah. Bo Peep and Woody are going on a date for 12 hours. That is a seriously long date, guys. I guess that's why they're toys, that's why, that's why it works, work. but uh, 12 watch. hour date, wow. Hmm, I have to think of how many times I've done that before in my life. <laughs> Probably not that many, that's a long date. All right, so here we go, we've got Davy Jones here. Um, I'm glad that I got him actually in a platinum chest recently. Thank goodness, because he is so useful for this Pirates in a Pinch event. So. Definitely, guys, think about getting him in your kingdom ASAP because he is amazing. So if you want to open a platinum chest there um, in your treasure bank area, go ahead and do it. It is definitely worth it. Or wait till you collect enough crabs and you can do what I'm doing right now and opening my reward. Yay! I can't believe I got it already. This is awesome. Come on, give me an attraction, a concession, anything. A decoration. Okay, musical fountain. That'll be good, I guess, when I trade in for elixirs again, which hopefully won't be anytime soon. Yeah. Okay, so basically Donald is just on duty to um, collect for me. That is pretty much it. I am number one right now, guys, with a score of 35. Number 50 only has seven. Wow. Okay, so I'm looking like I've got a nice strong lead here. So this is a good, strong start. I am very, very happy about this. Um, as you guys can see, obviously if I came in the top 10, that would be amazing because I'd get a few gems back for the amount of gems that I've already spent. <sighs> oh well, you know what? I made the commitment. I definitely want a Goofy's Pirate costume, so no turning back now. At least it means now I've got a nice, 
cushion here so I can actually get some sleep and not get up every hour and a half and try and deal with my kingdom. Oh, okay, so let me know how you guys are doing in the leaderboard event. I am very curious to hear how you all are doing. So make sure to let me know in the comments below and we will see you guys for the next one. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.